Hello everybody. Hi dear. How are you? How are you? How are you? Right. So, yesterday I started to film this video. And it wasn't until I was getting near the end, I realised it weren't recording anymore. So I've had to do some things on my phone. Because I just do it on my normal phone, Android phone. I don't know what phones are. Just It's just a phone. Um, and it, it, it stopped recording. So I've had to go on, delete all my past videos that I've uploaded already. I know that um, I've released some space. I think that's how it works well we'll soon find out won't we right and also i hadn't um practiced it it was just a it was something i was just doing with you and hoping that it was going to work but it worked well i think it worked i'll get your opinion when i've finished right before we start I just want to thank you all again every time for my, for your support. I know we said my support then. <laughs> for your support, much, much, much appreciated. Um, that's all wet through now. Um, if you can carry on liking, um, sharing. Oh, somebody said they, they're not receiving the notifications that I've um, loaded a video. The only thing I know, I mean, I've heard people talk about other things, but the only thing I know is to press the bell. There's, I think there's a bell up here somewhere, top right, when you're watching it. Apart from that, honestly, I have no idea. I tell you, I don't do tech. I'm absolutely rubbish. So maybe somebody else can drop in messages or put it on the page, on the Yorkshire Crafter page, how to receive notifications, because I really don't know. So, I'm sorry I can't help you that way. Right. We're using the very, very dirty um, stamping platform. Shouldn't have done that either, should I? Because I've just wet that through now as well. Ignore these markings. It's something I've just put on for something I was doing. I don't even know what for now. I hope I can hear Lexi barking downstairs. We've had um, Rosie at training class this morning. And... She's absolutely shattered, so she's up here with me, fast asleep for now, but Daddy's just come back from shopping, so let's see how long she, she lasts. Right, let's crack on. So, we need one acetate card base. Mine's five and a half by four and a quarter. Um, it's, I think they call it A2 size in America. It's just a I think I prefer this size because when I started buying all my stuff and like I buy the Gina K um, master layouts and they're all worked on like the A2 size. She does an A5x7 uh, now but they're normally all worked on this and so are a lot of the other American stuff. So that's why I work on these but I do prefer it I must admit. So you need one base. Um, I'm just going to let Rosie out. She's wanting to get out now. Cussy daddy. What do you say? Cussy daddy. Cussy daddy. Good girl. Yay, we're on our own. Um, yeah, acetate. This is um, a thick acetate. It's really strong. Um, you can use a flimsier one. See, I've got some heated acetate, which I sort of wish I'd used yesterday. Because I wanted to put um, some snowflakes on the acetate itself. But obviously I couldn't eat, eat the um, embossing powder on there. So you'd have to have the um, heat resistant one. But I get four pieces of card. These are two inch by five and a half. That's the way I'm doing it. And the reason I do it like that is we are going to have one piece which is going to be decorated to go across there, across the middle. So that'll be your actual card. Then you'll have one piece on the back of it so that you can't see the glue. And then you'll have one piece underneath it so when it's closed you still can't see it. And that'll be for you to write on. And then I put one on the back purely for not seeing the glue. 
so that's the way I do it so I mean I have got two done because like I say it it messed up on me yesterday so but I was right pleased that I was doing something without practicing it but there you go right I'm gonna crack on we're using we're making it just a, a very faint blue seam just tearing a bit of that just to give me because I'm going to stand pipping on here so I just want it to be a bit darker and I got a bit frustrated with it yesterday so what I think I'll do is I think that's a small brush, isn't it? In fact, I'll go with what's on it. So, sorry if my arm's in the way. In fact, I'll turn it around a bit. I'm literally just making a, a snow hill, if you like. I only want it to be faint, yeah. A bit more than that. That's what come in with this. I don't think it's gonna. Just using what's on my brush and hoping. Yeah, I think that's gonna be all right. And then I'm gonna want the other bit. Now then, I've just turned that off to do that. Is that going to fit somewhere there? Yep, I'll keep that to the side so I'm going to use that. So, using a small brush, I want my light blue. I'm using tumble glass. Ooh, don't get it on the other piece of the card. And I'm just not really bothered how it looks. Because we're going to put some words straight across here. I don't want it to be, you know, like perfect. Just want a bit of a blustery sky sort of thing. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Put a bit more in here. I'm all right with that. So I'm going to go around the edges. In fact, to tell you what we'll do first. Well, I'll show you because what I was going to because we're putting different words on as well. I actually, I don't know if you can see it. I stamped some trees fourth generation in the back. Now I don't know if it needs it or not. So this on this one, we'll leave it out. And then we'll know whether it needs it next time when we do some it. So I'm going to, yeah, go around the edges with the darker. So I'm using Blueprint Sketch first. I don't know which brush I used. Let's go with this. This, this is your own preference. I just always, 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 I do not like that brush. You can see the brush marks. I don't like that. Let's go to a... In fact, I'll just use my one I've been using. That's better. I don't know why it did that. I don't like that. Yeah, it's just... This is just my preference. I prefer all my cards to be outlined if I'm doing a, a scene sort of thing. It's just what you prefer, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'll put some snowflakes in this time instead of the trees. Because I'm sure, I don't know where I've put it, the words that I've picked, I'm sure it's about snowflakes. And then I'm going to put in some chip sapphire. The next one that we're going to do, um, I'm a bit worried about doing it because... 
it's um I don't know where this brush is from either. I don't know where these brushes are from. I'll try this one. Um, yeah, it's the words that I want to put in the next one. I don't know if you'll tell me off. I like them, but I'll, I'll wait and show you when we do it. Now, this is when I wish I were live, because then you'd be able to tell me whether I was risking it. I am honestly going to go live. I'm just I'm trying to pluck up the courage and also find out how to do it. I'm not. This brush is not the same. I don't like these brushes, so I'm getting rid of them. I'm just going to put them over here that way. Yeah, I don't like them. I've got another one here. Look, I don't. I must have just bought a set of coloured brushes at some point. Yeah, I don't like. That's okay. I mean, I've lost that a bit now, but I don't think I'm that bothered, actually. Let's just... I don't even know how I did it. Where was it? Where was it? There. Let's see if this makes it a bit more... Yeah, it's a bit more obvious. I don't even like what I've done now. It's not as good as my one from yesterday. I've gone too dark around the edges. You live and learn, don't you? Let's stamp first. So, I'm going to... Where's my words? Right, so I'm using Pippin. And these words I'm using is... All right, yeah. I'm using Silence is Upon Us as Snowflakes Fall, Winter is Here. Once and for all. The other one that I liked was Seasons change as the wind moves direction. Welcome winter with great affection. So to me, both of the, either of these could be um, birthday cards. Now then, do I want to stamp that in blue? He's going in black. What do you think of white? Would it work? Gold, silver... Oh, now I don't know what to do. Uh, we're going to go... Let's stamp it in the... Twilight. And then we'll put some white snowflakes around it. Which will do what I wanted it to do then. Pipping down there in black. I don't even know if it's straight, but you get the idea. Let's put that there. Move that up a bit again. Right, black. Pipping in black. The words in twilight. Very, very thin writing. That's lovely. Right, here it goes. I sort of wish I'd um, powdered it now because I'd like to see the writing with clear embossing on. I think it'd look lovely. That's so nice. I'm not going to put, do the words again, but I am going to do Pippin again. That writing's beautiful. That's the first time I've used that stamp. Yeah, you see, I don't think it needed the trees behind. I'm disappointed with how much, how far in I've come. Yeah, very much, but you, you do as much as you want to do, don't you? So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to take it out. Now, 
Now then. I want to put some snowflakes in, but do I want to put... Let's have a look. Well, I haven't got any cut, but do I want to put die cut ones? Or should we do some white embossing powder? Wait a minute, I'll get it. Tell you what, I've got I've got some sparkle. Brutus Monroe Alabaster Sparkle. So let's give it a bit of that. In fact, let's give it a blast. Oh I have something to show you guys that I got came yesterday. I'll show you in a minute. So I do this because if you don't, and because you're doing it with a, a coloured one as well, you don't want your embossing powder um, flying off, you know, going sitting in different places or sticking. You just don't want it. I got a new toy. Right. Where's the snowflakes that right, we're using? Oh, these didn't clean right. I bet they um they better not leave any colour. Right, what matter anyway? Because I'm doing it in white, aren't I? Let's have a look. I mean, what you could do is stamp in white and put clear embossing on. It's up to you, isn't it? But I'm gonna. I'm going to do now then let's have a look first a couple I'll take the little ones off a minute and just use the so we can put one up there don't know where that's taken I can't see it we'll put one there Right, I'm going to have to do what I did the other day and just keep Move this to the side. Keep putting the powder on because I can't see where I've stamped them. It's very glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Now then, don't touch where... Oh, that's kind of cute. They're lovely, they're just small enough, aren't they? So I've got one there, one there. Let's put some more. We'll put, let's put, we'll put one there. Um, I'll just put two of them on it. Oh, I don't know. Let's go there. I'm just putting two of them there. I'm going to take that off. Put one there. Just want that part on. So, part on there. I'll have to powder them up. What did I do? One there. See, it's all over Pippin. He hasn't dried enough, so I'll powder that off. Uh, brush it off. Powder it off. And on there. They're going to look all right, aren't they? Is that enough? We'll just put one up here, I think. What's the other one like? The other little one. Um, no, I'm going to stick with that one. I like it. It's very pretty, is that? So let's come. One there. I'm going to put half on that and one there. Right. Just to come back in the folder. If anybody's on here who's new and you haven't seen me, how I store mine, 
there is a video on how to store them. I love it. I wouldn't do it any other way. So check it out if you haven't seen it. There's also one of my um, craft room. If you haven't seen that. Oh, I might have just smudged one up here. Where were it? There. Yeah, you see it's gone up right in as well. So I'll just brush them off. This is absolutely beautiful when it's heated up. I love it. I've had some glitter embossing powders before and no, don't like. But I love this. I also love the, what do you call it one? Uh, this one I think is amazing. The Wow Metallic Platinum Sparkle. You get that from Lavinia. Absolutely fantastic it is. Right, let's just brush a bit of this off. So we'll take it off his bum. I should have done it while I had it out, shouldn't I? Take it off his bum. I'm not bothered if it's loose anywhere around there. It just adds to the sparkle. But I do want it off the right in. Heat that up. And this is just a case of putting this one together now. I don't mind the dark now, I've put some of the snowflakes in. I'm not sure which I prefer though, yesterday's or today's. But this other one that I'm going to do now, I, um, I haven't done that one. So it's trial and error for me as well. Mom, why aren't you doing it? Oh, there you go. Oh, the sparkle's just beautiful. It's very snowflakey anyway. There we go. Can you see it? Can you see the sparkle? I hope you can. Right, so just right quick, we are going to whack a bit of this on. But I think my pasta is nearly empty. I don't want a lot on. And we'll push that to the side for a minute. Bit too much on um, pipping there, but it's all right. Right, I'm not doing any shading and rounding more underneath him. I don't want it to be a very technical card, so I'm just putting that to the side for a minute because that's that one, isn't it? I'm making sure they're all because I've cut all the cards to match each one. Right, this one. Hmm. Let's do it. So I'm doing a rainbow. It's not going to be a big rainbow. Right, let's do it. Ooh. Right. I may even be able to just do it with what's on me. Let me take that off because if that's shining in your face, it's all over my face. Oh, look at that. I am so scruffy. So you what? Let's go back to the platform. I want it that way around. Right, I'm just going to do it. Um, um, let's... Oh, we'll do it going on. I'm not putting a lot on, like I say, I'm hoping... I mean, I put some up brush then, I didn't need to, I don't think. Where's my orange brush? See, there's enough on it. 
I'm using oxides by the way. Now I'm thinking I maybe didn't want to do this as dark. But we'll see how it comes out. That's blended just beautiful there. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Right, we're going to come with a Richard of York yellow next. I'll probably have to put some on this, yeah. So I'm using squeezed lemonade. I love, love, love a good blend on a rainbow. So I would just literally, I would keep going backwards and forwards until I've got that perfect blend. But we don't have time. Richard of York gave so green. Oops. I've used bright yellow and bright greens. That should blend lovely. You cannot go wrong with Gina K blending brushes. Right, where's that light blue I had? There's my blue. I'm only using a small brush because that's what I'm already using with that colour on. Starts off right dark at that side, doesn't it? I've actually gauged it just right and all, actually. Come on, blend in there. Yeah, I went in with too much green then. In fact, I'm going to go in with a darker blue. I'll go in with what's on my brush. I've got a different blue here. Yeah, I think that were a bit too light, the tumbled glass. Let's look at Salty Ocean. Ah, that's better. That will do. And then just chuck these back in the holders. I also have them in my older. I have three or four of these for all different inks. I don't like to. I don't like my brushes touching each other. And I keep my oxides separate from all my other inks. Oh, that's a nice purple. That's wilted violet. Look how lovely it looks going into that blue there. And now I've put too much in. But it's nice. I like it. I like how it starts dark and dark. Ends in dark. It's changed that colour completely, hasn't it? It's gone more teal. That's lovely. Right. I'm good with that. I'm going to dry it. I don't know if that affects me platform drying it. I'm hoping it doesn't. In fact, it's worrying me, so I'm going to take it out to dry it. I'm not ruining it, it costs too much. That a pretty rainbow. Now this one that I'm doing is the birthday card for definite.
when I send you all birthday cards, I don't think, oh, I like her. She writes comments. She, she can have the best card. I just literally get the cards out. I have the cards of whose birthday it is in front of me. And the first card I pick up goes with that card that I've got in my hand. So, I mean, nine times out of ten, I normally send the same, you know, the same kind. Like if I'll do six, seven cards of one, that's what I normally send out. Oh, remind me to show you these things I've got to show you. Right, so. I am putting, somebody asked me what, the, what my unicorn are called. Well, I can't find him now. <laughs> bye bye. Here he is. So, I used him the other day. I'm absolutely in love with him. And it's called Unicorn 2. In fact, I'm working on some here. And I've used him on that, but that didn't work how I wanted, so that's just stuck there. So this is Unicorn 2. And I am stamping him here. Or her. In black. So it'll take a couple of times because it's so big. And because we've used oxides, which are very, very chalky. Before I realised it was the inks that were stopping it from stamping properly, I used to do that, put a piece of paper off over it, pick up the excess ink on it and then colour it in with my pens. I mean, sometimes I still do, depending on how quick it takes. I mean, like that, that's not taken on the purple at all. So I will probably, yeah, it's going to be one of those that I colour in later. It's because a lot of ink went down. Last one and then I'll just colour him in. I just use a black Posca. Let's have a look. Yeah, absolutely not taking on. You can even see it there. It's just not taking. It isn't a problem. Apart from I don't want to smudge that now because it's got loads on it. I do it, I'm careful how I put that down as well. I'm just picking a bit up simply so I don't smudge it. Yeah, look at that. Picked a lot up, did that. Hmm. Wow. Right. You know he's gonna be what he's gonna be anyway, so when he's coloured in he'll look absolutely fine. So what I want to stamp where have I put it? I tell you I'm useless. I get everything ready and I don't know where I've put it. Okay, so I have lots of little Unicorn ones. So, Opie Day Sparkles. That's okay. Follow your dreams. Have a magical day. Be a unicorn in a field full of dreams. And look, that's there as well. It must be a thing. I don't know. Being fabulous is my superpower. What's yours? So, they all look nice. But I really want to use this one. And you can see that I've used it before. I want to use this. Sugar is sweet, lemons are tart, I love you more than a unicorn fart. <laughs> Will I get away with it? Or do we have to go with one of the smaller ones? Can I do it? Oh, this is when I wish I were alive. I'm going to do it. I don't know if this is a cheap make. From when I first started, or if it's made, but the stamp's very, very flimsy. 
very flimsy right and what i'm going to do i'm going to do it in gold so where's my little powder brush and i want to try and keep it away from the unicorn because 100 percent the gold will stick to that without a doubt Not sure if I should have kept it in there, but um, no, let's do it. I'm going to risk it. What I am going to do is stamp it off first. Oh, has that got so... That's filthy. That's embarrassing. I clean them with um, some alcohol liquid I've got. And they come up fantastic, but... Let's just see what that comes out like. That looks pretty good. Do we reckon gold? I don't think we want it in. Let's have a look. Gold or silver? Um, I know white would be pretty good. I just got this one the other day. Wicked. Green. I've got all gold falling out. No, I'm going to go with gold. Let's do that again. Please look all right. It just worries me that you won't be able to read it in gold. Here you go. Please work. I'm just gonna let it soak into all that ink a minute. Right, come straight off. Right, that's working. Let's do it. Why's it got bits in? Turning it away from Unicorn because I really don't want to get any of that on there. Ah, that could work lovely. Oh, I think it's going to be perfect. Let's heat it up. I want to colour them in now for you, but it just, it's more time and more time. We're going to put them together now, which didn't take long at all. Oh yeah, it's perfect. I really, 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 really hope that this doesn't offend anybody. And I'm sorry if it does. Yeah, I'm really sorry if it does. But when else do you get to use it, really? Oh my God, that, that must have been leaking. It's everywhere. It's all over here. Right. Just going to chuck a bit, a few of these inks to the side so we've got a bit of room. In fact, I'll put them in the drawer. They belong just right next to me. Just whack my brushes up here. Out of the way. Right, let's do it. 
So we'll go back to the blue one. I've got to remember how I did it now. This is worth doing that. So you take your your middle bit, uh, your middle one, minus the dog hair. Which where is it? I keep seeing it when I put it down. Oh my goodness! Haha, -ha. sticky. Right, I'm gonna get my glue, which I haven't. Open to see if it's ready. I mean, for this, shall I just use my pen? Uh, my tape runner. Yes, look at that. So, you just pick your bit in the middle. It's up to you if you want to measure it. I'm not measuring. Make sure it's opening the right way. And I'm going to guess that it's around there. Perfect. I'm taking the one from underneath, which is going to go on the back side of it. So these cards kind of look like they're floating. So all I'm going to do is open it up and stick it directly on the back of that one. And that's your glue gone. With what I'm going to do, you're still going to see some bits anyway because I'm putting something else on, but I'm not bothering putting the backing on. Right, your next one. Same again, just glue it up the same. What you want to do, this is how I do it, I just lay it on top of that. And push my top down onto it. So that's your piece that you're going to write on. So when you open it up, you've got your piece there to write on. And then just to cover that glue up there, that's on the back of there, I'm going to put another one. I'm going to run out of glue and all at this rate. Why is it clogged up now? They naughty. Let's put a bit up there. Yep, so I've just put... Straight on top. There you go. But just like me, I'm not finished yet. So you've got four pieces of card there. You can't tell. Open it up. It's brilliant. It's, it's just genius. It really is. So, I've got this die. Sure. I've got this die. There's my packet. And there's the die. So, I didn't use it, it's the first time I've used it. I think I got it last Christmas. So it's a snowflake border by Lawn Fawn. So I've cut a couple of them out. I was going to do more than one, so. I just put it up to the edge of the um, card. Depending on how thick you want it, I, I haven't measured it, I've just literally put it up to the end and cut it so that's what you'd bring out yeah can you see it there can't you that's rubbish so I already pulled two out oh I was going to put one of these on but it didn't it looked lost can you see that mm, you can but it was just a bit lost to me so I wanted it to stand out. So I'll just push a few of these out. There we go. 
And now then, I went across and glued it all. And then I thought, I have these. I have ruggings of these. Sticky specks or sticky pecs. So, all you do with that, just move all these bits out. I open it up. I stick my border down. I pull it back up. And by rights, it should all be sticky. It's just so much quicker. Oh yes, it's definitely all sticky. So I'm pushing it right up to the edge of what we've just done. There you go. No glue missing. You can't even see it on the other side actually. Can you see that? You can't even see the... Whereas you would see the glue bits. So I'm going to do the same again with the other piece. That's so good for speed. I never use these dots for what they're supposed to be used for. I mean, I do use them for sticking tiny things on as well. I do have some double-sided sheets where you could cut this out of double, put it on the sheet, quit it out of double-sided, and peel the back off and stick it down. But this is just so quick. If you look at an angle from the side, you can see where you've used it and where you've got plenty left. Look it back up. Don't stick till you've got up to the edge. Make sure it goes all the way to the edge. There you go. How easy is that? That's so quick. Put it back on. There you go. Sorted. I am just going to, I'm going to say it should literally just hang over the edge. Just cut them bits off. Well, I'm getting hungry. I hope that mister downstairs has made my tea. We're having chicken ticker today and I'm right looking forward to it. I can't see that properly. I know it's not touching, but it's not letting me cut it either. There it is now. Right, I also always have little strips cut always I've always got all different colours and everything I've got a load behind me I've got these out because I was doing some, something with the pumpkin ones so I have all different I've got dyes that cut them but these I just cut literally with a bit of well with your cutter but I always have them because I never know when I'm going to want to use them and I don't like just getting a piece out to cut them so if you notice on this one i did it in a white glitter but when i was doing it i looked at this and i thought wow i loved the red what do you think i mean i've got all sorts these ones like the shiny ones this is gina k and it's soft glitter you can't it's as smooth as a baby's bum. You can't feel the glitter. That silver one. Oh, I cut that wonky. That's why I didn't use it yesterday. I was going to do. See, I think that's lovely. That's super, that, isn't it? But do you know what? I'm going to do it, I think. I've just got to up. I've got two pieces, same width. Well, they're not. That's not. <laughs> Oh, this could be. Put 
two really thin ones on. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go with them too. And I'm actually going to glue, so I might make a mess now. I could, see, that's going to be too much glue. I could use the dots again. Oh my God, why can't I do a straight line? Terrible. So I'm just putting it up to that edge. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm easily pleased. Oh my God, I don't even breathe. I didn't quite get that up to thing with dots on either. Where's the other one gone? Was it that one? I'm going to pull it down a bit. Doesn't look, looks a bit thinner at this end. Oh my goodness. You're not supposed to be hard work. It's a piece of paper. Yeah, like I say, I really wanted to do the red the other day and I, I just, I don't have the courage. I absolutely love that. I'll lift that bottom one out up there. So that card is done. I'm just going to show you this. This is what I wanted to show you. Look what I got. They're all by Pink Fresh, but they, they're like... I mean, that one's multicoloured. They're ombre, they are. Aren't these just absolutely stunning? Look at the colours in that. Can you see it all? Oh, they're absolutely blowing my mind. And I just thought, like, look at that, blues and blacks and whites. I hope you can see them. You're going to see me use these a lot. Look at that. Love it. But I'm hoping, I wonder what these red are like. But I'm going to do that offline anyway. I think I might put one on top of each snowflake. You know, just a tiny one. In fact, I will. I'll definitely do that. So I'm going to crack on and do this last one. I love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to right quickly do this one. I should have given the a wipe. If you can't stop things sticking to it, wipe it with a baby wipe. And then wipe it with a piece of kitchen towel or a cloth. And it stops it sticking. It takes all the static out of it. I'm just doing exactly the same with this, with the four pieces of card. In fact, I might put them on after we finish filming because it's already 53. So let's just finish this one off without the backings on. I, I am purely guessing. If it's not straight, I'm sorry. It looks all right to me. I maybe should have done it without or some different colour underneath it so you can see the acetate. So that will be coloured in when you see it. I love the gold writing. It really sets it off. Yeah, I think that's straight enough in there. So for this one, I cut out some random clouds instead of um, snowflakes. Because I just thought... Oh yeah, I think that'll look all right. I want to use two different ones, so that's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe cut that one a bit too, too much. Might have to use the same one. What do you think of that? It's not sticking down. What do you think of the cloud? 
and then we could put a gold line at either let's have a look what we've got in gold a nice glitter gold there oh yeah i think that'll look lovely absolutely let's stick that down i'll do it with glue and see if i get less in with dots and what have you i've got it out haven't i Ideally, I could do with some time to let that um, put some heavy on it, you know what I mean? Let it sit. Yeah, I'll cut the edges off in a minute. Like I say, you can cut the clouds to go, you know, underneath on the inside so you can't see out, but I'm not worried about them. I mainly want the other card put in so you've got somewhere to write. And I'm actually really really pleased oh i've glued up wrong one i don't want that one on no i don't want that one on we'll concentrate then either um i'm glad i did the unicorn one now because i'll also show you the other one that i did what i was going to show you but you'll find it straightforward anyway it was just mainly the blending that i, I was going to show you so this is the other one that I did. You can see I just put um, glitter strip there, but then I put um, die cut snowflakes and then covered them in Wink Costello. So I mean, it is pretty. It's, that's one stamp stamp twice, which is the Lavinia, and then just some white paint splattered. It's done exactly the same all the way. I think it's lovely, but I love the colouring. Absolutely love it. So let's finish this one off. I'm really, really proud of this one now. I love it. That's fine. I normally use my big scissors to do the cutting. I don't know where they are. In fact, I haven't seen my big scissors for a while. And... Well, yes, I've made a mess of them. So, yeah, I think we'll... I've got the glitter gold. I'll make glitter gold. I mean, I've even got... Look at the glitter green. Even that's nice. But I wanted to pick that gold up. So I've got dull gold. Which matches the writing, actually. Or the glitter gold. I'm going to go for the glitter if I've got a matching piece. No, no. That is but it's thin. That's even thinner. Right, I'll just use these. Um, I'll stick one on because then I'll they're too, they're too thin I'll cut another piece when I'm off camera if I've got any gold left if not you might see a totally different colour that should do it yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? Why does that look wonky? Because it's on the paper and not the... That's better. Cut that off. Right, guys. I hope you enjoy this. I say I'll put the backs in as well. I absolutely love it. And it, it's just so different from what you'd see in a shop or anything. I will put that other line on there. But how lovely are these? You can do birthdays, Christmas, Easter, just because. I just love them. Where's the other one I've just done? I love the red. Absolutely love it. 
right i'm away i hope you enjoy it let me know how you get on happy crafting bye